Hi everyone, my name is Sian and welcome to another unboxing. Really important, this is an unboxing, it's not a review. Review of this product coming up later. And oh my god, I haven't put up a video in so long because I've just been waiting for this package to arrive. It's just taken so long to ship all the way from China to, well actually, Denmark, then to Britain and then down here to Austria. So it was technically all around the world except, well, uh, Oceania, Africa and the Americas, so technically all around the world. <laughs> um, and now we're gonna have an unboxing and again a disclaimer, this is not a review. I've made that mistake before to just put an unboxing and a review in one, it, it doesn't work. Especially if you're not prepared, you can't just review something that you've been using for a good amount of at least five seconds. So I'm never gonna do that again, your feedback, well helped me realize that. I mean, everyone makes mistakes. But now we're gonna focus on actually unboxing this. And well, uh, I'm gonna have to uh, get it real quick. It's it's a rather small package. You, you, as you've probably guessed by the camera setup. That's it. You, you can go now, bye, see ya. Uh, no. Um, this is the Anycubic i3 Mega. And FDM 3D printer. And I've, I've been hyping this up for myself for so long. I've actually, um, purchased this about a month ago, well actually a month and a day ago from GearBest. And I know there are a lot of negative reviews from GearBest, but I've been asking some other YouTubers that regularly get stuff from them, which, well, in the end, uh, in hindsight, wasn't the best idea to do because, well, I get a lot of spon stuff sponsored from them <laughs> uh, to ask because it had a lot of negative reviews about shipping time. But, well, mine actually arrived in time. It did take a month, though. Um, shipping time was between two month, uh, two weeks and five weeks, so... They were perfectly in that range. I ju just wanted to get that out real quick, so... Um, if you're buying something from Gearbest, don't expect it to arrive tomorrow, especially if you're, like, well... Ordering something from China, as I did. There we go, unboxing it, a huge box. Let's see if it's... Uh, oh, Survived shipping. Delivery list. It is a 3D printer. Well, I can I, I, I don't want to show this because <laughs> this letter was full of personal information, so I um, don't want to censor everything. It's just too much work. Too much damn work. And what I find really interesting is that there's printing on the inside, but not on the outside, so uh, I, I'm pretty sure someone just built that wrong. <laughs> but okay. Um, now it's gonna get complicated. I have to stand up for this. You oh, hardly grazed the camera, so now I can see myself a lot better, even though it's in a lot less FPS, but who cares? You're gonna get it in smooth as hell, 50 frames per second. I'm pretty sure I should just cut this, to be honest. Oh. Don't wanna cut the foam, just, just the plastic. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of that in there. Uh, well, that's just gonna be a lot of waste. I'm just throwing everything onto the floor, and oh my god, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's it's not upside down, am I right? I, I hope so. So there we have user manual. Great. So that's you know standard PSU plug, same as I have in my PC. Then we have a spatula for scraping off, scraping off the junk, or well, actually the things that I'm building with it of its platform. Um, then a lot more cables and accessories. We're gonna get into that in depth a little bit later. Then we have the base. Um, I just, okay, I, fl I flicked the switch. So nothing bad happened. Oh, it just reeks of new technology. Love that smell, by the way. Why is the packaging so horrible though? Okay, 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 there, there we go, there we go. Oh, the base. The heated bed with all of its motors and cables in place. You know, it is really complicated to unbox something with, with just one camera and one light and one microphone. And you actually have to use a full XLR microphone because your camera audio sucks. And you don't have the money to spend on the proper, well, you know, the microphone that everyone else has. These small little things that you clip on here. What else do we got? A kilogram of black PLA. I'm pretty sure it's PLA and not ABS. Um, 
because it's just a lot easier to print and I actually prefer it because it's biodegradable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put that down, sorry. You're not gonna get the life experience of actually getting that out of the box. I'm gonna put that on my little stool down here. Cautiously lift it by the frame and then just, well, tank it onto the table and hope that nothing breaks in the progress. It's a good plan, right? That's actually it. So, that's all we got. Isn't that great? A lot of stuff, you can hardly see my face, but honestly, I don't really care. It's not like it's the most important thing here. It's not like you've come for my face. You're here for the 3D three, 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 the printer. So what do we get? We do, ah, we do get a lot more foam that I have to remove first. There we go. Okay. Um, you know the big parts? We're gonna let them rest here for a second and that one over there. You know, we, we all know filament. Well, actually I've never hold, held one in my hands before, but... Uh, ah, I'm amazed, I'm amazed. Can I just rip that open? Pretty sure I can't. Uh, where's my knife? You know, you send a Snapchat hoard, it just has to send videos out to everyone, or, well, photos. As soon as they get something great, or do something amazing. So, gonna, um, I'm gonna cut it open really cautiously, because I want to reuse that bag so that the filament doesn't get bad because some of you might know the plastics do lose their quality over time if they're exposed to, well, air, especially water in the air. So I'm gonna keep that bag and the silica package, you know, just in case. Then we have a nice kilogram of black, uh, yeah, PLA. A kilogram, 190 to 230 degrees Celsius. That looks really cool. Oh my god, I can't, I can't wait to print with this. I, I just can't. <laughs> okay, uh, what else do we have? In packages, oh, what do we have in here? We actually do have something. Uh, probably not. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's nothing. Yep. <laughs> it's just a placeholder in here. Okay. Know, just to keep everything intact while shipping, which they actually did a pretty decent job at. Nothing seems to be broken as of right now. Seems pretty well intact, actually. And I have to stop looking at my screen where I see. Can I see where I can see myself? And instead, look at the camera where you are, where you people are. So, okay, that's all stuff for the filament holder. I'm not gonna touch that yet. These are all... Okay, gonna get that later. Screws for assembly. I'm gonna put them there. Spatula. Um, oh, that's the hot end. I do get a hot end. Isn't Okay, I do get an extra hot end. That's cool. I get a free hot end. The same nozzle, actually. Yeah, they do seem to be the sa exact same nozzle, exact same hot end. So if something actually breaks, no big deal for me. Uh, in here we have a USB stick, nice and sleek. Uh, how much is it? It doesn't actually say how big it is. But I don't really care to be honest. It's just got a free USB stick and a free USB uh, SD card. I'm gonna put that aside then. Um, is that fire wire? USB 2.0 cable. To where though? This plug seems like, I don't know, thunder... No, it definitely is not thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure it's something like firewire. Very special. Very special. Uh, and then we, we do have some tools for assembly. And actually, to we do get a small little screwdriver. Some clippers. Oh, that isn't... Is that the same? Oh, no. It seems so similar to the iFixit toolkit pliers that I have, but they're a little bit different. They're so... S oh, okay, yeah, the quality on these is a lot worse than on the iFixit. I mean, the iFixit kit is good, but it's not... it's far from perfect. And we do have some more tools that I don't know the names of. You, you guys know what they are, so... Well, I, I do know two, but uh, I, don't, I just don't know the names. Um... And for this stuff, well, we have, we have one more, just to assemble everything correctly. Uh, actually, some latex gloves, 
some more screws to put things to put into things and one more thing that I don't know what it is so we're gonna read the manual now like a real boring person it's not listed <laughs> in the packing list so I'm gonna put this together now pretty sure I can do this right so that's a filament holder don't want to put that together yet because that's well probably the easiest part about that but we do have to start with the base the assembly so in the manual it says just put up which way is, okay yeah it's pretty easy to figure out which way is upside down so put this like that and now we have to lift this part into the frame here which well is is not that easy to do with just one hand but i'm pretty sure we can manage somehow okay let's start squeezing these cables and now just get it through there and then you have to align uh, these holes right here with the ones on the upright part. Okay, and I do recommend putting on some gloves because there are a lot of oils everywhere and don't want to get too dirty, you know. So, next thing we gotta do, now we have a switch, it's either on, uh, I can actually show this without breaking the whole damn thing, no. um, 110 or 212 volts, that actually depends on the region you're living in, so I'm gonna have to set that to 220 volts, otherwise it's uh, well dead. <laughs> uh, then, for the next part, we do have to plug in some cables. And the first thing that I've got to do is actually turn it around for you. And here we have a uh, red, a blue, a red, a green, and a black cable. And we've got to plug them into their respected color coded ports. So, just had to quickly undo some zip ties because my red cable wasn't actually long enough on that side. So I had to fix it by well, undoing the zip ties and uh, just pushing everything through a little bit more so that it all fits now. Isn't it beautiful? And so, one bent and broken tool later, we've now got a filament spool holder. There we go. All stands now. So that's the filament sensor. And that's actually the, I'm pretty sure about it, uh, one of the only parts that are, that's actually 3D printed. So you can see that these two parts are the only two 3D printed parts on a 3D printer, usually with the cheaper models. A lot of parts are 3D printed, but now we're gonna I'll actually load this and leveling and you know, if we're gonna continue, we have to move place. Because my room is not the room where this will stay and it'll actually stay in our office. So I'm gonna move over there now. And so this is it, the moment of truth in another room with orange wall and crappy audio. So, um, actually gonna have a hard time filming this. Because, you know, it's, it's shit. Um, we have the printer here, all set up, all plugged in. Um, do have some other things right there. Uh, the manual actually tells us to now uh, this off for leveling. Just uh, place the filament spool into the filament holder like that. Then to undo the filament. Actually, you know, I'm gonna cut off the bent bit and. Okay, the filament sensor is on the other side, so we'll... Moving that over. Then, routing. Uh, I'm pretty sure I should power this on, right? Nice. Oh, the screen is really nice. It's a touch, a touch screen first of all, and the pixels just look... I mean, that has to be at least 720p or something. 
Um, so I'm gonna route the filament through the filament sensor, place it onto its magnet, and press down the filament inserter and actually push in the filament. And now, after I've inserted that in here, we're just going to have to press on to home and home all. And let it do its magic. Now we gotta go back into setup, turn all motors off. So now we can move everything freely without damaging it. This is really important. Turn off all your motors before turning anything by hand. We're gonna have to well align the 3D the bed with the nozzle. So I've actually resolved the issue of um, this access node. Cor turning correctly by just screwing down some small little screws in there. There was something loose and I'll just fix it really easily. So now we're gonna go to leveling. I've actually then went and uh, returned everything to zero and a uh, home all and turn off the motors, which is really important because otherwise you can't move them without damaging them. So next step. I've actually never done this before, so I'm really nervous. Leveling is just a process where you actually, well, level the print bed. And in my case, I have to level all of these four corners. Then I check them diagonally, just to be sure. And the middle now is somewhat okay. I feel like my base is a little bit bent. I don't know how this actually works because it's made of glass, but um, technically, if you're leveling a corner, just put a piece of paper underneath it and you just have to feel the resistance. If you're doing this for the first time, it can be a little bit harder than usual and yeah as I said just get a piece of paper under there feel a little bit of resistance you know turn the screws a little bit so that you get a feel for what you're actually feeling and I mean you're gonna get it right basically after a few tries at least that's what I did so you can do that too uh, now for the test print we're gonna unpack our SD card here not that one this one with the actual SD card in it Nice Taiwanese SD card. Lock it in place. Um, actually got another adapter, which is nice to have. And just uh, put that. My SD card slot is bent. There we go. So now, um, go to print on the menu. You know, yeah, and press print. Okay, I've just pressed print. Can hear it heat up. That's that's cool. Bed temperature is almost there. So Thank you for watching this unboxing until the end and right now I'm actually working on the review of this printer. It's actually two weeks later now. I've been kind of slagging off because of, well, school and shit, you know. Um, but yeah, now I'm working on a review. It's coming hopefully soonish, like one, two weeks, about that. And yeah, I just needed some more time to actually print things with it and say with confidence that this printer is amazing. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll have a really nice day. You know, there's some other things you can click on. I hope they're there. You know, if, if I forget them now, that would be really embarrassing. If there is nothing there, then... 
Shit. Oh, oh my, my, my channel icon's right beneath me, so I'm gonna do that for, for another few seconds now because you know the end card has to be 20 seconds.